This class is part of a larger playlist, which you can check out in the upper eye. If you want to take the full class, you can go to my website and get some discount codes and start creating. In this video, we're going to be installing on a PC or Windows computer. And so happy installing of Blender, and I can't wait to see what you create. So in this lesson, we will be downloading and installing Blender 2.8 Beta. And you can just type in Blender Beta. That may be the easiest way to find it. And then you will should see Blender 2.8, and just click on that. And if you already know how to download and install software, you know, just go ahead and skip this video. If you're using a Mac, you can go ahead and skip to the next video, and we'll go over how to install for Mac or Apple. So once you get here, uh, you will see the new Blender. You can see what's new. They've added a bunch of cool new features. Um, I think it's very, very attractive and just uh, really nice. So I wanted to teach y'all in the new Blender. It is in beta, so if you do have any issues or bugs or anything happening, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll update the course accordingly. So what you'll do is just go ahead and click Download Blender 2.8 Beta, and it will navigate you to this page where you can select Windows, Mac or Linux. I'm on a Windows computer, so I'm going to just click the 64-bit. They also have 32, but just click the one that is according uh, to your computer. You'll see that it will download. And I'm out here in the woods, and it's only taking less than a minute, so it shouldn't take too long to download. And it will download it as a zip file, so once it's complete, you can click on this little upward triangle here and go to show in folder. It's probably in your downloads folder, but it uh, could be wherever you put it. And this was updated today, March 4th, so you can always go and download the latest one. They're pretty pretty on it about uh, updating it. So this will be the latest and greatest. I'm just going to go ahead and update mine because it's been a second. Uh, but yeah, you'll go to the folder. You can right click it and do extract all and then just save that wherever you like. I'm going to put it on my little hard drive here. Master classes. Let's do a new, we'll just put it in Blender. So, go in here. And it's just going to extract all that data and get it to where you can open up that application file. Once it's done extracting, then you will see this little Blender folder pop up in the folder that you told it to go to and just double click on that. There's a ton of files in here. Don't worry, it's just a lot of hoopla. But what you're going to do is find the little icon that has the Blender logo there or it says application. It should be about, uh, you know, looks like 83 megs, so something around that size. Just double click on that. And it's like, oh no. And Windows is trying to protect me, so. I'm going to say more info, run anyways, because I trust Blender, you know, I like those people. All right, so now check it out. So now we have the old Blender that was here. Uh, so I'm just going to unpin that one. And now I know that this one is the new one. So I'm going to right click that one and say pin to taskbar. And that way it's really easy to get to. And from here, that's it. You have successfully installed Blender 2.8 beta. And like I said before, if you are on a Mac or Apple computer or a Linux computer, then I will have videos in the next lesson that will teach you how to install on a Mac. And I do not own a Linux computer at the moment, so I'll put a comment below on how to do that. But go ahead and jump into the next lecture, and let's start designing.